Hey everybody, this is Cartrop, and today I will be showing you a programmable combination lock I made. And let's just fly over here, and oh, that was pretty majestic. But anyway, um, I've got a bunch of stuff to show you here, and this is pretty good look. And I've, if I do say so myself, I'm pretty proud of this thing. And yeah, yeah, we're going to. This is where you put in the code. So yeah, in my hotbar you can see sort of how the code's laid out. It's just to show you what the code is, you know what I mean? You don't have to do that, obviously, but, you know. So this is where you put in the codes. And then you put, like that, miss one, one, miss one, so on and so forth, until you've got the code correct. And you can see, it opens the door. That could lead to a vault or secret room or something, I don't know. But say you put in the wrong code, and it will close the door. And you can, you can do that, so if you accidentally do it, you can just click the button again, to just, you know, yeah. So, say I change the code up there, and you're missing one, that will work, and this will just wipe the code off the bottom. And this button will wipe the code off the top, as you can see it's all gone. And that will open the door, because the codes match, because, yeah. So let's change the code, let's do this one this time, and let's do the same code again. But instead we'll do the end one. So let's just do this, just to show you what the code will be. And let's put this code in, shall we? Let's go and miss one, do one. Oh, no. And you can see here, I've done it wrong, so then you can press it and it changes it back. Then do one, miss one, do one, miss two, and then do another. And that will open the door. So yeah, that's pretty cool, let's press the reset again. And as you can see, it just wipes it off completely. And I've got a re like a randomizer button, and it clears the code that you've got. And then, oh, well, that was not meant to be there. Um, then you press the button, and it wipes it, and then gives you a random code. So you can see we've got this one, which is interesting. It's an interesting code. It doesn't always come up before. It can be five. It's completely random. But let's say we that one, and then that one, then this one, then this one. And that one to match the code. Hopefully the door will open like that. So yes, that's pretty cool. Let's get a new one. Right, let's reset it first. And um, now we'll do it. And oh, that's the same code we've got at the beginning. That that's really weird. Like that 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 is really strange. Same code as first. But anyway, I'll sh I'll try and show you this in action. The resets. Um, if I can, this is the code, and that's sort of just T flip flops doing stuff and things. And yeah, it's really strange. It's pretty strange pictures, and that's the output line and stuff. That's just like one of the modules. And they sort of go out diagonally because I could not fit them in to work without doing that. But, um, yeah, your output line goes over there. It's inverted so I can put it into a door, as you can see. Now I'm going to try and show you this reset mechanism working. So you see, oh, can just press a button and it picks up all of the blocks that were over there. So yeah, let's do the same with this one. Press it and it resets it all. And let's do this one. Pretty much press that. The hoppers and droppers will fire. And you, if, if you know how that works, you do. If you don't, look it up. <laughs> it's quite interesting. But yeah, that, that's in, that's pretty much all I've got time for, guys. Thank you for watching. This has been Cartrop, and I'm out. Bye.